Hello Halo fans, Halo Theorist here coming at you guys with my second Halo Theory video. Today, I want to speculate on the question, what is the possible link between the events of Halo Wars 2 and Halo 6? Just as a warning, most of my videos will contain spoilers or possibly future spoilers in the Halo franchise, so please watch at your own risk. As we know, Halo Wars 2 takes place on the Lesser Arc, and I would assume that because the slipspace drive on the Spirit of Fire due to the events of Halo Wars 1, the crew wouldn't want to leave the installation for hope that they could be found or could find a way to communicate to the rest of the UNSC with the Forerunner technology. Something we also know is that Cortana seems to want to use the Halo Ring for some purpose, other than to do its main function of wiping out all life in a designated area, I don't really see another reason for wanting to use it. This being said, the reasons I can see the events on the Lesser Arc affecting anything in the rest of the galaxy are two things. One, the Lesser Arc can not only fire all the Halo Rings, but it can also stop individual rings from firing. This would benefit Master Chief and be a reason for him to go back to the Lesser Arc because he could then stop the Halo Ring that Cortana is trying to fire as we see at the end of Halo 5. Reason number two. Medic and Bias, who clearly speaks to Chief in Halo 3 Terminals, is now going to try and help Chief defeat Cortana to attain his atonement he mentions in the last terminal of Halo 3. With both of these as viable options, I want to look at another subject that might play into the future Halo games. Just for a quick reference, I want to thank Vesta... I believe I'm pronouncing this correctly, gaming, for pointing out a fact that I clearly missed in my previous video I had originally posted today, and upon going to edit that video, I managed to delete it. So to make the best of the situation and to make sure this video is posted today, I'm redoing the second half of that original video. Going back to my topic of the video, I want to talk about the Spirit of Fire and how they could possibly find the remains of the battle that took place there in Halo 3. If they do, they will have already known about the Flood because of their previous encounter in Halo Wars. Randomly finding the Ark would cause the crew of the Spirit of Fire to ask some already answered questions that are unknown to them, and would probably need to be answered by somebody from the UNSC who has the knowledge of the Halo Ring. This further supports my theory that because Halo Wars 2 takes place around the time of Halo 5, Chief will again need to revisit the Ark to at least re group with what's left of the UNSC after Cortana's attack. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this raised some questions and some possible future elimination of some theories and what we've gone on so far. If you guys have your own theories and you guys like the video, please like, leave your own theories down in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.